Hi guys, so this is a bit of a different layout today. <laughs> Normally I'm sat with my backdrop and the camera in front of me, but today I've got you in the mirror. So I've just got the camera face in the mirror so I can show you what I do because tons of you have requested how I do my hair. So I'm gonna show you how I do my quick, easy, everyday curly hair tutorial. All you need is a curling wand. So this is a Remington wand. I have no idea actually what wand it is, it's just the one with the flowers and sort of like a triangle wand. So the lowest temperature with this is 130, so it's really good if you don't want that much heat on your hair. I tend to use it on 190, but you can go up all the way to 210 on it as well. But yeah, I put it on 190 and it literally heats up within 30 seconds. It's really quick and that's why I love doing this for my everyday sort of look at the moment. I like to use a heat defense. So I've already washed my hair this morning and I put this Tresemme heat defense on it. And then when it's done, I like to use this got to be made for madness texturizing hairspray. This is amazing. If I want a bit more of a stronger hold, I do tend to spray in the Tresemme freeze hold hairspray and that just holds it all day long. And I tend to get a few days use out of this hair, probably about two, maybe three at a push with a bit of dry shampoo. And I just add some extra curls in if it goes a bit flat after sleeping. So I just section my hair and clip it up with a little clip. And then I just grab the wand. What you wanna do for that messy look is curl it one way and then curl it the opposite way on the next strand. That gives it more of a separated textured look. Otherwise you're gonna have like ringlet curls. So for the hairs on the front here, I like to curl it so that they flick outwards. So I just hold it on the inside and just curl my hair around. I hold it for a few seconds, probably about five seconds, and then just let go and then crunch it up just so the heat sort of cools down a bit with the curls. And then there you go. So this time I'm going to do it the opposite way. Ones are pretty tricky, it took me a while to get used to them and I did burn myself a lot, I still do. <laughs> I don't tend to do too much on the bottom, I just curl it so it's got a bit of a shape. So I'm going to finish off doing the bottom and then I'll show you how to do the top. So as easy as that, I've just done the bottom layer. Like I said, I don't tend to do too much. I just curl it really quickly because it is short and you do burn your hands if you try and curl it properly with the wand. But I just do it so it's a bit of texture at the bottom. The main focus of doing like messy waves is the top. So now I'm just gonna grab my texturizing spray and just spray a bit to hold them curls. and then I run my fingers through it to loosen them a bit. And then I'll go on to the next layer. So this is the top layer. So this is your main focus with this hairstyle. So what I like to do is clip my fringe out of the way, like the top layer of my fringe. Because my fringe is quite thick, it, I just find it easier to do it this way. So again, with the front, you want to curl it outwards. And you just wanna do the ends really and leave a bit of the end straight so I don't curl all the way. As you can see, I've got a bit of hanging over. Like that. So it kind of gives it a messy, flicky beach look. And then this way I'll go the opposite. And it doesn't matter if you've got bits coming off the wand or bits fall out when you wrap it round, it adds to the texture. So don't try and be too neat with this hairstyle. So that's the front done, as you can see, and it's starting to take that textured look. To do the back, I just clip up the top layer. Because my hair is really thick, I do have to section it a little bit. And now I've put the back layer down, I'm just gonna go in and curl that bit. I'm a 
Okay, so that's all my hair done now. There's just a few little bits that I just touch up. If there's any straight bits, just go in and curl them quickly. And it tends to sort them out so it doesn't look like you've just completely missed them. So that's all my main bit of my hair done now. Let's do my fringe first. So I'm gonna make it a bit more fluffy and textured on top. So it's really flat and then the curls are here. So with my fringe, I just grab the bit that I put up, so the front bit. So that section here, and I curl it upwards and then sort of just curl it around so it flicks. I don't hold it for very long. So it goes like that. If there's a bit, a bit flicks out at the end, you just curl it again. Till you get it how you want it. So that's how I do my fringe. So these bits are straight on top. So I'm just gonna give them a quick little curl like how I did the fringe, just grab the whole section just to give it a bit of curl and then I grab the hair on top and then I curl that and as you can see it kind of gives it a bit of curl on the top then and then on this side I go the opposite way and then it just kind of adds volume on top. So you can do the same here. You don't want to do the whole top like that. Just grab random little bits. And the same with the back. And that's how you add a bit more texture on top. So I'm going to add another curl here. Because this bit's pretty flat. There we go. And that is my hair done pretty much. Just gonna curl this bit a bit more. So I'm done with the wand now. My fingers and just kind of brush the curls out a bit. just so they're not so perfect. And I'm going with my back comb brush and just back comb near the roots on my parting. Again, to add a bit more texture. We don't want it flat, we want it kind of bouncy. And then now I just go in with my texturizing spray and just do short little bursts. Kind of just mess it up a bit. Throughout the day they will drop a bit as well. And here you go, this is how I do my hair. It does drop out so it's more relaxed. In about 20 minutes it will drop quite a lot, but that's how it will stay. So it won't be as tight, it'll be that sort of beachy look. So I hope you enjoyed. This is a quick, really quick hair tutorial. I haven't done a hair tutorial before, so I thought this sort of setup in the mirror would be a lot easier. But I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.